Welcome to Freddy Forest Survival Tips with me, Freddy Forrest. Come on, let's go. I'll show you how to survive. So if you're going to be stuck in a forest overnight, you're going to need a fire because it gets cold. And the easiest way to do that, knock a couple rocks together, create sparks, and we'll start your fire. Now, the easiest way I've found is hit them as hard as you can. So I'll show you how I like to set that up. One rock there, and this I like to call my striking rock. And as you'll see, we should get some sparks out of it. Well, there's probably one or two in there, but it's a bit windy, so we'll get to the fire later. If you're gonna survive in the forest, another thing you'll need is water, and lots of it. I was lucky to find a dried up stream. Luckily, there's enough moisture in the dirt that I should be able to dig a hole and gather some water. I want a nice, good stick to dig with. There we are. Ugh. Ah, ah. Damn it! Fucking water! Shit! Alright, so after a few minutes, this hole I dug, gracefully dug this hole, so water is developed. So now I'll take a drink so I don't dehydrate too much. <coughs> God, it tastes like fucking cat piss. Ah. Alright, you can see it's not much, but that's definitely enough to keep you from dehydrating overnight. You'll need to keep getting more water quite often, but this is a way to do it. Man, what the hell? Why did you tell me you had that? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> what? I'm learning survival skills. Leave me alone. God. Fine. <laughs> Building shelter is very fucking shit. Very important to survival. Damn it. <sighs> you want to get a good brace started if this goddamn tree will cooperate with me. Close enough. <sighs> All right, so that's a good start on it. Basically, all you want is just a little lean-to shelter with the branches facing the wind so it blocks you and keeps you warm. All right, well, let's continue with it and I'll let you know when we're done. There, shelter. All right, Steve, you said this was gonna be an easy little gig. We'd just throw some shit together in the forest and we'd be done. This is not what I signed up for. You're my agent. You're supposed to get me some good jobs. God, whatever. Now you can either build shelter or find shelter. And small natural caves like this are perfect. But the one thing you wanna make sure of is that there is no cannibal mutants living in them. They like to stay in caves quite often around the country. And if you see a bloody handprint on the outside, do not go in, because they most likely are still in there. And another major thing you want to make sure you bring with you is a little flashlight so you can see where you're going. I brought a little hand flashlight and a headlight, just, you know, just to be safe. Jesus, ready, run, run! <laughs> now, one more thing you want to make sure you watch out for in the forest are these tripwire spiders. Now, they have their web going across twigs and trees and anything they can to try and trip up their prey and they can catch anything up to a raccoon. They're very dangerous. If you get caught, they will attack. So we're going to stay clear of these for now and then uh, continue on our way. So sometimes in the forest you're going to need to hunt to find food and a good way is to carve a spear from a branch and using anything you can find around somewhat sharp such as a stone or a knife. Uh, oh, this will work. Perfect. So you want to just carve a nice point into your branch. Because sharp objects are very hard to come by in the forest. 
So you'll need to make your own. Excellent. All right, in the forest, any prey is good prey. Sometimes you have to just go with whatever you can find. Oh, I think I see some, some wild cans. Could, I don't know, it could be beans or corn, it's hard to say. But that's the thrill of the hunt. You take what you can get. Ah. Ah. Another failed hunt, just human feces again. Ah, well, we'll try again later. Well, thank you for joining me for another episode of Freddy Forest Survival Tips. I'll see you next time, and remember, survive. Some shelters look better than others. This one definitely will be good enough. I mean, if you want to put more time into it and just waste everyone's time, sure, fine, but this, this is what a shelter should look like.